Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for Sonic Sorcery. I'm Stefan Key, your Sonic Sorcerer. And uh, a while ago I promised I will make a tutorial for each genre for the Shamanic Dreams template. And I said there will be one tutorial on sound journeys, which I already did. One on ambient and one on shamanic downtempo. And here in this tutorial, I want to show you a little bit um, the workflow and the result of a track that I just recently finished for a compilation. And um, it's, it's kind of a mix. It's like a shamanic ambient song. So it has a beat, but it's also a lot of ambient elements. And yeah, I just want to walk you through a little bit through the workflow. So basically how I approached it and uh, I was working entirely in the shamanic dreams template and you know the way that I always start is I go into session view and then I play around with sounds that I like so for now I just got out of the arrangement here so that I can actually trigger the clips um, without having to vary that arrangement place and so, as you know, I'm always starting with a pad, right? And this pad instantly uh, grabbed my attention. And I also need to mention that for the compilation, they wanted something meditative. It's, it's called the Inner Garden. So it's like a compilation where um, they share tracks where people can meditate and go journey within. And um, yeah, also something soothing. It's it's a in, for a German label, and they're in lockdown again right now. And it's just something uh, that people can use in order to yeah navigate those times with more grace and ease, and have some tools um, for those explorations and transformations. And so I figured let's start with a pad, and this pad. I really liked, oh, I cannot hear it because I automated the volume towards the end. Right, so this pad is like really heavenly, divine. For some reason that, that grabbed my attention and I felt like, okay, so this is a main element of the track. And then, as you know me, I need to add some water. So I added this water in particular because it turned out that the track was like a walk through the forest or the jungle honoring the birds like what came through really strongly was the medicine of the bird and this happened when i was checking my shamanic atmos effects rack because i felt like yeah let's find some nice sounds for the intro and then i was playing those ocarina sounds here Right, and I felt like, oh wow, yeah, that ocarina is so beautiful. I want to use it in the intro. And then it turned out to be the whole theme of the track, as you will see in a bit. So those sounds, they play a really important role, especially in the intro. And then I found another pad because I felt, okay, let's find the lower one that goes together. So I chose this one, and you can see I color coded them to later be reminded of which sounds I use because they are not named, just numbers. So I just colored them so that I don't forget. So I was jamming, right? So these two together, and then I thought, okay, let's maybe find a rhythm. So I went with this one and then I also chose this one to have a little bit of variation. And then I also tried a frame drum. So this one I felt worked really good, frame drum number three. I just had to loop it a little bit and warp it a little bit more because the timing was a bit loose. So I was warping 
the drums to be more tight. And then also I had to find a drone. First I thought this one. But then I chose this one. In the end. Because it was more subtle. And really supporting the vibe well. And then I added some percussions as well. And I went first with the tree percussions. And then added some of the tribal percussions as well. And especially this one reminds me of a bird flying by because as the theme was the bird and also can you can see the name of the track is Pajaro Antigo, which means ancient bird in Spanish. And the name is coming from my partner. She was channeling to the track and then she was feeling the bird medicine and then she came up with uh, this words and the song and you can already, uh, you will be able to hear it. For now I muted the voice, but you will hear it when I show you the full track. And then I just copied this because I wanted to have like a bit uh, more of the percussions but in a different channel so I can play them at the same time so I just duplicated it and I think that's pretty much it yeah we have the bell melody I did a lot with that but this was the starting melody And then this ambient guitar was more for the outro. And this I thought I gonna use, but then I didn't end up using it. All right, so this was basically the selection of sounds that I had. And I felt, okay, that's something to start with. Let's start the journey from here. So now I go into the arrangement and now we can actually see how it's going all right so we are in the arrangement now and as always I start with the nature sounds so I added also some bird sounds and as you can see later also some different forest sounds because the idea was really we're walking through uh, a forest or like through a path in the jungle and there's a pond or like a stream close by so I changed um, the atmospheric sounds a little bit, giving the feeling um, that we are changing the environment or like the scenery a little bit. Okay, so let's have a listen to the intro. As I said, the ocarinas are really important. So we start with the nature sounds. Mm -hmm. And I'll just really give some time. You see, this is just a MIDI clip playing the different ocarinas at different velocities. And now the drum is coming in. And this is the intro, which is also kind of like a ritual opening, invoking the spirit of the bird with all those beautiful ocarinas imitating the bird sounds so lovely and now the first drone is coming in the beautiful one and we also add some percussions percussions and 
And still, like all the ocarinas, I almost played them all. See, like the whole, whole section. And here's some bird sounds, bird atmo. And now after 32 bars, we bring in the melody and the frame drum. And now also the drum as the bass and I'm just alternating between the two like the bass drum one and the bass drum four to give it a bit more movement so it gets a little dense and then there's space to breathe and then it gets denser again and also the beautiful flapping shaker here it reminds me of the bird wings and I panned it also from left to right so you can really on the headphones you get the feeling it's flying around your head you know and then we come to a mini break and if you know me from my other tutorials, when I talk about arrangement, I'd always love to have a B section, which means after the break, which is now, I want something surprising. I want new elements. I want the journey to go in a different direction and also increase the momentum. And it's almost like it's fading out. Everything is coming to a still. So that then the drop has more impact. And now I'm bringing in the bass drum as well. Very subtle. The warm kick number one here. And the melody. The bell mellow six. And I also love to work with octaves higher so I just added the same bellow bell metal but put it on 12 semitones so an octave higher on the transpose and then new effect sounds here I really I think it's so good the shamanic effects rack to add atmosphere and ear candy so I just used it more and more And more and now also the bell and gongs number 15 they go really well together with that melody so I added this one as well and now we're almost at the end of the journey so now bell number seven slows things down a little bit more and now we slowly the drum stops And all the percussions slowly fade out. The drone is fading out. This is another one that I just added in later. I didn't show you at the beginning. And now we have the ambient guitar to have this outro vibe and a new forest here. have the melody and this ambient guitar and the nature sounds and the water and 
And everything is fading out here. Now just the fades everywhere to make it more gentle and not so abrupt. All right, so this was the first uh, part of uh, the, the project, so to say. So I did the arrangement and then I invited my partner, Maiwa, uh, to listen to it and just basically intuitively channel with her voice. So I was giving her uh, the track on headphones and put her in front of the microphone <laughs> and then she tuned in. We both drank a beautiful cup of cacao that she made before and then she was channeling. And we did basically two layers. So the first one and then uh, she was singing another one on top. So it's kind of like a double layer but with slight variations and a little whispering intro at the beginning. And now I will show you how this all sounds together. All right, and this is how it sounds all together, including the beautiful vocals. Cantanos, 
All right, so this was the track in its full glory. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, found some inspiration. Um, as I said, all the sounds, they are entirely from my Shamanic Dreams template, which you can get on my website, harmonicresonance.com. I will also put a link in the description. But basically, if you go to harmonicresonance.com and you go to Ableton Templates, you find all my loops and sample packs. And here is the Shamanic Dreams one with the Ableton template, or if you work in another DIW, you can get the loops. And um, also, I want to mention that this project will be available for my members for the Academy of Sonic Sorcery. In case you don't know, we have this beautiful community of wizards here, the Academy for Sonic Sorcery, which is like a monthly membership based on the tier that you have you get access to different perks and benefits but no matter if you are apprentice or adept or mage you will be able to join our telegram group you know the sonic wizards and lately we also created a discord to have <laughs> the threads more organized and at the moment we are like 12 wizards and we're talking about all kinds of things we're giving each other feedback on our tracks you know we talk about sound healing we exchange tutorials and yeah talk about all kinds of things and support each other in our journeys and so yeah if you want to join a beautiful community of kindred spirits and like-minded wizards feel free to join us and on the website um, i will put the link in the description as well there you can see you know like the different tiers and the access and the bonus that you get not just like extra video content you get discount on my products including online classes and you get private coaching and extra video content and yeah if you want to download those and many more ableton projects you have to be at least an adapt or mage and then you get access to all uh, the projects that i share all right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.